Okay, so this is a bit of a scandalous poem because it's about how Adam and Eve would have needed to have committed incest in order to populate the earth. <laughs> so that's a, a freaky concept, but hey, it's it's right there. Um, even the biblical scholars seem to agree on that. So um, here are the words that I've been willing to uh, set down on this topic in the form of a poem. <clears throat> now Eve had a mind that was to desire the child, and she had a mouth that was ready, that was ready to speak from that impulse, and that was ready to say something that was not new. It had only begun, and it had yet to begin. Now Adam had a mind that was to desire the woman, and he had a body that was to desire the child, and he had a mouth that was ready, ready to say something that was not new. It had only begun, and it had yet to begin, and it is finished. Its worth has been measured out in delicate terms, and it is easy to calculate its value. Its worth was weighed in his life, its worth was found out. Its worth is hidden in the knowledge of death. Its worth was found out. Its worth was weighed in his life and in the knowledge of death. So there you go. <laughs> that is the uh, potentially scandalous poem. Um, I could have expanded upon it and all that, but... It's a very simple one. Hopefully, um, it won't be too scandalous for you. I don't know, but it's it's definitely one of those one of those quirky topics that you know we're supposed to just look past when we hear you know a bunch of these religious claims. And I really haven't talked that much about religion on this little podcast because I realize for a lot of people it's like a thorny issue. Plus, it's not. It's not really that I'm, like, afraid to do it, but it's just, I don't even know how to properly talk about it because it's just something that strikes my mind as being quite absurd. Like, if you look if you look at some of the very basic concepts like heaven, well, what is that? You go to a place where everything is perfect? Like, that really doesn't make sense to me. How can everything be perfect? That's really not even possible. You would have to change fundamentally how everyone in that magical sky kingdom behaves and how they think. You really want there to be no conflict or anything like that. That's basically asking like for the impossible. So if I was to go there, I, I would end up being a fundamentally different person. And I really wouldn't even be me anymore, would I? So if you think about it, why, why would I be held accountable for, you know, my beliefs or my failures while here on earth, yet I'd be an entirely different person in drastically different circumstances when I arrive up in that little sky kingdom, or I suppose it'd be an endless sky kingdom. I shouldn't call it little. It would technically have to be large enough to fit all of, all of the humans who ever lived, and, you know, presumably the animals too. I don't know. Would there even be animals up there? I pff, I don't know. I guess it depends on which specific sect or belief system you would ask. But to me, the idea of, you know, going up there and seeing no animals or... I mean, would, would every animal that ever existed be up there? Do animals sin? You know, like, there are all these questions that to me just immediately kind of fuck up the entire narrative. You know, if you ask even the most basic questions about this stuff, it really, th it really would throw, I think, the whole concept into turmoil. So um, this poem, I think, reflects that in a relatively simple way. When you get really into the basic elements of what is supposedly the origin story, right? The great origin story of Adam and Eve, and you've got the I guess a snake in a tree, 
tempting her with an apple and all that kind of stuff. It's all it's all a little bit uh, strange, and uh, it doesn't really stand the test of logic. And really, um, I don't think it should stand the test of time yet, you know. Belief systems are very tenacious like that. You get uh, you get a lot of staunch defenders, and it, that's just the way it is, you know. But anyway, um, have a good day. Bye-bye.